Hey everybody, the world's still a little bit crazy. So I thought I'd bring you another video to help uh, money make a little bit more sense. Today we're gonna talk about dollar cost averaging. Here's what that means. Continue putting money into your savings. Unless of course, your work is being affected and putting money into your savings would put, making your bill payments and buying groceries, if it would put that at risk, stop putting money into your investments for now. But if that, is, if that squeeze is not on you, I want to show you the benefit in this time. Like this is not all bad. I mean, it, it looks pretty bad on the surface. Uh, I was just checking the end results for the market today. It was terrible. Uh, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow is uh, one of those great days. It tends to be really good and then really bad and then really good again. But anyway, dollar cost averaging is your friend. It'll help you make more money. So I'll run through a completely fictitious scenario for you just to kind of illustrate this for you. Dollar cost averaging. Money in every month purchasing units. That's what that means. So here's our scenario. Let's pretend over the last six months, you had been purchasing units of certain investment, whatever it is, at $10 per unit, okay? So let's say you did six months and you were putting in $200 a month and the unit price was $10 per unit. So obviously every month you would have been purchasing 20 units. And over the six month period, you would have accumulated 120 units. And if it was always 10 bucks, then the, uh, the money that you put in, the 1200 bucks that you put in is still worth 1200 bucks, 120 times 10 is, it, it, that is where you would be. So, now the world starts going crazy and the market goes down and down and down and one day's up and then it's back down again. So let's say you, you go and now it's January and the unit price drops substantially. It goes, it goes down from 10 bucks a unit down to eight bucks a unit. And now your, your dollar cost averaging. You didn't change the $200 that goes in each month. So instead of buying 20 units with your $200, you're now able to purchase 25 units with your $200. The unit value itself is lower, it's two bucks lower, but the number of units is increasing, okay? So now February rolls around. February was not a whole lot of fun. And let's say our $8 unit drops down to a $6 unit, but your dollar cost averaging, your 200 bucks goes in, <clears throat> and now you're buying, now you buy 33.3 units with the exact same capital output. Uh, that month into your savings. And then March rolls around. March is not starting off very fun. Let's say we drop down to a $5 unit. You, you'd be looking at the units that you purchased at 10 bucks going, oh my goodness, that it, it's worth half now of what it was. But there's a positive in this. You just purchased 40 units for the 200 bucks that used to buy you 20 units. Now, let's look at this in two different ways, okay? Scenario A, <clears throat> let's assume no adversity happened. Your unit price stayed 10 bucks forever and you continued to put 200 bucks in, but then in April, let's say everything gets better in April and the unit price jumps from five bucks to 12 bucks because everybody's just so excited to get the world back to normal. Here's what happens and you only purchase 16.6 .6 units. So scenario A, no adversity. Stayed 10 bucks forever and then got to April and jumped to 12 bucks. You're up, Let, let's see how much you're up. So if we add up the units that you would have been able to purchase, you would have purchased 196.6 .6 units. And now the unit price would be $12. So you would be at $2,359.20. You would have put in 2000 and that's what your account would look like today, assuming no adversity ever, and you jump from 10 bucks to 12 bucks here. You're up $359.20. But the world did go crazy, and it went like this, and you had some discipline, and you kept putting your 200 bucks away, your 200 bucks away. So here's what the difference would be in scenario B you ended up purchasing 279.9 units. And now the unit price is 12 bucks. You'd be at $3,358.80. <clears throat> and 
And so by putting 200 bucks in, in bad times and purchasing more units when prices were lower, when prices come back up, which inevitably they do, right? Obviously this isn't a guarantee business, but if you take a look at a long track record of markets and unit prices, they do tend to come back over time and, 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 and tend to go up. Things do tend to make money on a long enough timeline. If you've been able to purchase more units when things are bad, you make out dramatically different and that is in a four month time period. So I hope that helps bring a little bit of clarity to dollar cost averaging. If you can continue to put money into your savings, it's advantageous to do that. If you cannot, I would encourage you to conserve money. And uh, while things are a little bit crazy here, to add a little bit more security and certainty to your life. Bye.